Rumors of divorce and separation have been all over the internet regarding Jordan and Bubba Page for months now. Back in January, we talked about all the rumors and speculation. Last week, we found out the divorce is true. It is happening. Jordan Page filed for divorce on March 12th of 2024. So today, we're going to get into everything that's happened since I posted my last video confirming Jordan's divorce. A lot has gone down. Let's talk about it. On Saturday, March 23rd, 2024, Jordan officially broke her silence about the divorce. She came forward to let everybody know that it's true. Jordan posted this to Instagram, a little life update. Some of you might have noticed that things look a bit different for our family, as Bubba and I will be discontinuing our marriage. While divorce is never ideal, we do things a little differently in the Page household. We still love and respect each other, support each other, work extremely well together, and will continue to do so. You will still be seeing us in each other's content from time to time, as we still and will always be a close-knit family of 10. And our top most important goal is to be the best co-parents possible for our kids. While we appreciate all of your love and concern, we will not actually be discussing this issue. And we will not be talking about our relationship, marriage, or divorce. So thanks in advance for not asking. Thank you also in advance for never discussing this issue with any of our kids ever, as they are little rock stars doing amazingly well. And we want to keep it that way. Thanks for being here and for continuing to be a part of our family journey. It means more than you'll ever know. Viewers had a lot to say about this. Jordan currently has over 2,300 comments on this post. One viewer said, sorry, but your kids are going to be the casualties. If you can get along, there's no reason to divorce. I don't care how difficult your marriage is. There's a reason there is for better and for worse in the vows. If you can love and respect each other as human beings, then you need to do it inside of your marriage for the sake of your children. So is discontinuing the marriage the new conscious uncoupling? makes them feel better about saying divorce. I'm definitely not surprised. I assumed this was the case for a while, but I didn't think it was my business to say or ask anything. Nothing is ever as it seems on social media. Praying for you both, that's life altering. This is the epitome of what you see portrayed on social media is not always a true reflection of real life. Just a reminder to us all that social media isn't real life. All we see is such a tiny window into someone's life. My exact thoughts. What social media shows us is just a little slice of reality. I'm going to quit and will only worry about real life people, my family, neighbors, colleagues, etc. Absolutely fed up with liars. And some people on social media believe Jordan is planning to leave the church. Some people are questioning her future with the church. One viewer said, I'm genuinely curious about the families are for everything in the Mormon faith. So many of you get divorced now. So if that's true, how does that just cancel itself out? Bubba shared the same message Jordan shared on Instagram, and he also posted this to his story saying, thank you for respecting our privacy regarding our divorce. Jordan and Bubba used different terms to describe what's currently going on with their relationship. Bubba said divorce. Jordan said discontinuing our marriage. I scrolled through Bubba's comments. His comments were more supportive than Jordan's. I mean, Jordan has a large your audience as well. So you have to take that into consideration. One viewer said, I'm so sorry, Bubba. I know you didn't want this to happy. She wrote happy, but I think she meant happen. Hope you find happiness and love in the future. Then Jordan posted this picture of herself. Looks like she's been crying. She wrote, love you guys so much. Going to take a few days, then I'll be back. On March 25th, Jordan posted these stories to Instagram talking about her divorce. Now, she doesn't go into great detail, but in her Instagram post where she announced her divorce, she stated she would not be speaking about her divorce at all. Hi. I'm back. <laughs> oh, I don't even know what to say. Um, Jordan starts off by saying thank you. Just thank you for being here. Then... She compares her situation to Kate Middleton. Jordan says she feels like Kate Middleton. And if you guys aren't familiar, Kate Middleton disappeared for a while, and there were a lot of conspiracy theories out there about where she was, what happened, what was going on. And it turns out 
Kate was receiving medical treatment for cancer. There's a lot more to the Kate Middleton story, but that's kind of the short version. I kind of feel like Princess Kate in a weird way. Like, um, people could tell things were off and, and, and then she comes and, and drops a bomb and it's something that she and her family have been processing for some time. But for the public, it, it hits as a huge shock. I don't think Jordan's situation is as shocking as Kate Middleton's diagnosis with cancer. And although I believe some people were honestly shocked when Jordan made this announcement, a lot of people were not shocked. But when Kate made her statement to the world, the world, the entire world was shocked by this information. I don't know how Jordan can compare the two because comparing Jordan's situation with Kate Middleton's situation is... It's a stretch. Someone on Reddit said, how dare her compare her divorce to what Princess Kate is going through? It's like a slap in the face to those who have had cancer or are going through it now. I know divorce is hard, but she's not the first one to get one. Funny how she acts upset and that she's going to cry, yet I didn't see any actual tears. Also funny how she went on several trips and was laughing and dancing, but now in front of the camera, she's upset. Please. I can only imagine that for many of you, that's how you feel as well. And um, I'm just, I'm really sensitive to that. Jordan said she feels relieved now because at least now her viewers know what's been going on. The truth is like, I, I'm, I'm glad you know now why I've been struggling for so, so long. Man, I wasn't gonna cry. Jordan insinuates this is one of the reasons she got sick. Jordan says, and also a big reason why I got so sick for a couple of years there. I can actually see it in the videos. I think I'm getting sick again. And then she says, I don't want to. I work so hard to get to where I'm at. The body keeps the score and um, what you feel emotionally eventually you know, comes out. Jordan says she's an open book, but anyone that's gone through a divorce knows that you can't talk about it. Respectfully, legally, logistically, um, protectively. And so I know you probably have a lot of questions that, that won't get answered. And just know it's not because there's like anything to hide. Jordan said she's got nothing to hide, but let's talk about some rumors that are out there on the internet about why their marriage is no longer working, why Jordan filed for divorce. At this time, this is just a rumor. I don't have any proof that this is true. There are some accusations of cheating, and some people are saying Jordan cheated. This comment was left on Jordan's Instagram post where she announced her divorce. Did you get caught having another affair? like you were with Cody Broderick. Don't delete this. Own it. You're not fooling us on social media. Neither is he. You people never change. Someone on Reddit said, there have been so many comments alluding to her cheating, all written in a way like they personally know her. My attention is definitely piqued. There's no one big, like, super secret event that happened or anything like that. It's just protecting my family and out of respect for the other half of this relationship and Jordan says she's okay her family is okay but that doesn't mean it isn't hard she said she's been pushing through for a while some days she's going to post content sometimes she won't and sometimes she might seem off all of our stories are complicated and the beauty is we get to figure this out together and I'm still the same person I always was. It's just my story is just taking a bit of a plot twist. <laughs> Jordan kind of just laughed at her statement. It seems like she's in pretty good spirits. Here's what I can promise you. That everything you have ever seen from me and will continue to see from me is real. What I can promise you is I will continue to show up authentically. It, it's bits and pieces as anyone's story online is there, you know, um, but just know that the bits and pieces you're getting are, are real and very true um, for myself and my family. What are your thoughts on Jordan's statement? Jordan stated everything you have seen from her and will continue to see from her is real. Influencers often say this, right? But when the camera turns on, you know, you're smiling, you're upbeat, you're positive, you have more energy. I think some would argue when the camera turns on, 
you're not 100% real or authentic. You are playing things up for the camera. I think it's really bold of Jordan to say, everything you have seen from me and will continue to see from me is real. When Jordan had surgery, she specifically said over and over again, I'm not getting a mommy makeover. But I think we all can see with our own eyes that she did get a boob job. Someone on Reddit put this list together. It says, I like how she says she's always been real and honest. You claim there was not one big event and this divorce has been in the works for years. Just six months ago, you were posting how amazing your relationship was. You said that women couldn't get their hernias repaired with insurance. That's so false and dangerous information to spread about women. And that's why you had to go to a plastic surgeon. But then your own plastic surgeon said you had a full tummy tuck with lipo right on your live. And you got a massive Massive boob job, just be honest. You said you only got Botox once in 2020, but can't move your forehead in this very story. You said your swollen lips are scar tissue from one lip injection in 2020, but they continue to grow. You said anyone could afford your lifestyle if they just give up one coffee per day. You claim to save for years for whim purchases like your $8,000 freeze drying or expensive baby grand piano. You claim your cookbooks and productivity boot camps are so amazing, but you don't ever follow your own advice. You claim to relate to moms, but you've never had a 9 to 5 job. Your husband has also been a stay-at-home dad for most of your relationship. You're almost always had a nanny, housekeepers, gardeners, and multiple houses. You say stuff like, I haven't been on vacation for so long, when you just got home from a vacation the previous week. You even lied about your toddlers being potty trained so they could go in the cruise ship's hot tub. You condescendingly preach your standards of dress and dance and entertainment to your kids and us followers. But you don't follow the same things yourself. Twerking in your friend's face, dirty music, Netflix boobs are bad, but then wear your barely fitting gym bra around all day. You defended Tim Ballard despite multiple women coming forward with stories of abuse. What do you think about Jordan saying everything you have seen from her and will continue to see from her is real? And what do you think about Jordan announcing their divorce on Instagram and never actually using the word divorce? Thanks for watching YouTuber Headlines. I'll talk to you soon in the next video. Bye.